What's good, everyone? It's the one and only NY Fino. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, and want to see some gaming content in the near future, give this video a like. And if you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Now let's go ahead and let's get into this video. All right. So now our team preview. Another NFL team preview for the 2019-2020 season. And today, we will be speaking about the Cincinnati Bengals. All right. So... Before I get into talking about the Cincinnati Bengals, if you guys haven't seen um, my Cleveland Browns team preview, um, that was the previous team preview I did, first team preview of uh, the series. Um, if you guys um, haven't seen that one, check it out. Um, of course, I am doing the ASC North first, so that's why I'm covering the um, Cincinnati Bengals right now. But besides that, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. Alright, so um the Cincinnati Bengals, man. The Cincinnati Bengals. Um last year wasn't the best year for the Cincinnati Bengals, man. Um dealt with injuries. Um you know, Andy Dalton got injured, AJ Green got injured, the secondary didn't play great at all, and it was another year of Marvin Lewis. Um but Marvin Lewis, he's finally out of Cincinnati. And that's going to be odd not seeing Marvin Lewis not as the head coach for Cincinnati, man. It's like ever since I've been watching the NFL, Marvin Lewis has been the head coach for the Cincinnati Bengals, man. I don't know how many years was it. Was it like 15 years as Marvin Lewis as the head coach? 15, 16? It was something crazy. But, um... Yeah, Marvin Lewis is not the coach anymore, and they replaced him with head coach Zach Taylor. So, Zach Taylor, this is give you um, an overview for him. He's pre he was pretty much the quarterback coach last year for the LA Rams, and another Sean McVay prodigy. And it's like the whole entire NFL. It's like that's like the new thing in the NFL is to go after a Simon Vay coach, um, especially on the offensive side. I mean, uh, quarterback coach. I mean, it was, it was pretty much a given. If you were uh, any, if you were on the coaching staff for the Rams on the offensive side, you were pretty much a head coach for this upcoming season. That's pretty much how it was. And, you know, Zach Taylor got the job in Cincinnati. Um, now, for the Cincinnati Bengals, man, they're a team that... That's not totally rebuilding, um, but they're not the most talented team. But it's like almost every single year they either find themselves in playoff contention or they just miss out. But you know, last year they dealt with injuries. But you know, it's like every year they're a team that's like you know that can make the playoffs. I mean, there was a point where they went to the playoffs like four straight years. Or something, some you know, something like that. But they didn't win like a single playoff game. You know, they were pretty much called pretenders. But now, they, they, they might make the. See, the thing is, they're not, they're not as talented as they were though. You know what I'm saying? Um, they weren't as talented. They're not as talented as they were in my opinion four or five years ago, but they still, like, the nucleus of that team, the nucleus of the Cincinnati Bengals team is still here. Like, you still got Andy Dalton. You still have A.J. Green. You still have Tyler Eifert, who we're about to speak on. And some of those players on the defensive line, like a Carlos Dunlap and a Geno Atkins, are still there. But let's go and speak on that offensive side for first. I mean, I've been all over the place. So let's go and speak on this offensive side, man. Um, we got Andy Dalton. Who did suffer an injury last year, and he pretty much made him miss. I believe he suffered an injury like around week seven ish, and they were playing well. A lot of people don't realize that the Bengals actually started off four and two last year, but when the injuries came, they felt they fell off. Which I mean, the amount of injuries that they have, that they had, especially at their keep. Positions like, of course, quarterback the most key position in the NFL. 
uh, Andy Dalton got injured. AJ Green got injured. Um, had a few players injured on, on the defensive side. So, and then their offensive line was just banged up. Um, but look, Andy Dalton's coming back. I uh, know a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people like to talk down Andy Dalton. Um, you know, call <laughs> call him trash or whatever. But look, Andy Dalton, a healthy Andy, da- Andy Dalton is a playoff quarterback. I mean, he, he's proven it. He's proven that he can lead you to the playoffs most of the time, at least, at least keep you in playoff contention. But the thing is, this offensive line, in my opinion, is getting worse. And... And I mean, Andy Dalton, he's he's starting to get up there in age. Um, you know, the thing is, if you you can get an injury once, but once you get an injury, there's a possibility that you might re-aggravate the injury. And I mean, they have no they have no other quarterback options to go to. I mean, you're not gonna go after you're not gonna put Jeff Driscoll in the game. So um, this team is gonna rely on Andy Dalton. But the thing is, though. They have a running game. They do have a running game with Joe Mixon. Of course, that's their, that's their, that's their big running back. And Joe Mixon, he's going to get most of the carries. But they got Giovanni Bernard, who's a great third down running back, come in, catch some passes in the screen game. You know, want to make a few good plays. Um, but this team's going to have to rely on Joe Mixon. Um, depending on how Joe Mixon plays, if he can... If he has a great season, who knows? Um, so you got Joe Mixon, Johnny Bernard. It's going to be key that those two running backs stay healthy and um, put in work. But, of course, the big star on this team, on the Cincinnati Bengals, and a player that's been in a lot of trade rumors um, this offseason, A.J. Green. Now, we all know that A.J. Green, it, you know, his talent is absurd. Definitely a top ten wide receiver in this in the, in the in the NFL. I mean, this dude, we've seen prime AJ Green is possibly a top five wide receiver, but that's probably stretching at the moment. But we know that he's unguardable. Pretty much nothing to say about AJ Green. But is he is he going to be on this team by next season? It's just, it's just what. What are they going to go to? Because in my opinion, they're like in the middle of the pack team. They're in the middle of a pack team. They, they're they not rebuilding. Honestly, they're not going with the full young youth movement. But they're, they're still not all the way contending. So you got A.J. Green, top wide receiver. You're going to need him healthy because he was injured a bit last year. Then you have another player that's been in... A lot of trade rumors for like the past, I don't know, two seasons. And John Ross, now we know that he has amazing speed. I mean, you know, he had like one of the highest, uh, one of the um, quickest 40, 40 times. And John Ross, um, John Ross has mad speed, but we know that his catch ability was kind of suspect. Uh, the Bengals, they just... He hasn't performed. And he's been injured a bit, but he just hasn't performed on a big level. And I heard that the Cincinnati Bengals might move him, so I don't know what's the future with John Ross. But a player that did have a breakout season, one of the brightest spots for the Cincinnati Bengals, especially last year, was Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd was great, especially in that slot receiver um, position. Tyler Boyd was... Um, Great. I mean, he while AJ Green was hurt, he, he was a reliable first option in that slot, in that slot position. And a healthy AJ Green and a healthy Tyler Boy, that's a pretty scary team, especially if Andy Dalton is clicking and is looking like um, Andy Dalton for what was it that 2013 year? It was one of those years where Andy Dalton had pretty much a Pro Bowl year, but um, you know. Uh, that, that's a nice combo, having Andy Dalton, Joe Mixon, uh, A.J. Green, and Tyler Boyd. That's a pretty na- uh, nasty dynamic. And the biggest thing, probably the X factor of this team, the free agent. The free, the free agent that they re-signed, 
Tyler Eifert. And you know, Tyler Eifert, man, he's dealt with so many injuries. Like the last year he 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 got hit with a a nasty, nasty, devastating graphic broken leg injury it was, you know, uh pretty hard to watch, you know, it was pretty disgusting. <laughs> pretty, pretty disgusting. But um you know, that's just been the thing about Tyler Eifert, man. He's just dealt with so many injuries, man. It's like, we all know that Tyler Eifert is a really, really good tight end. But that's only when he's healthy, you know. they going if, if they can get a healthy Tyler Eifert, then this team, yeah, they, they, that makes the Cincinnati Bengals offense pretty much deadly and probably one of the most underrated offenses when fully healthy. And then you add in... Uh, a head coach who's the offensive mind is Zach Tyler. So, um, I mean, this offense, it, it, it's going, it can have, it can be really good. It can be really, really good if, if, um, if they can just stay healthy, man. And the big thing that, well, the really big thing besides the X Factor and Tyler Eifert, a really big thing it's going to be this offensive line play. You know, the offensive line struggled. I mean, Anthony Dalton got killed out there last year. But, you know, if they can find out how to fix this offensive line um, out, um, that would be huge. Because um, the, the old line, they really needed uh, help last year. But, um you know, that's pretty much on the offensive side for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think they have mad potential. But, um, I mean, we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I, I, right now, Kurt, I'm watching Kawhi Leonard, watching the Toronto uh, Blue Jays <laughs> celebrate Kawhi Leonard while he's at the game. I think that's hilarious how he was holding the phone. But anyway. Let's get to the Cincinnati Bengals defense, man. Let's get to the Cincinnati Bengals defense. And last year, a team that, in my opinion, has been an underrated defense for the past five years looked terrible last year. And I mean terrible. Um, I don't know what was the what was the issue with the Cincinnati Bengals defense last year, but it was just terrible. Like, like. There was plenty of games where I was like, I can't believe this this Cincinnati Bengals defense is this bad. I mean, you got playmakers on the defensive line. You got the Carlos Dunlap. You have a Geno Atkins. Now, there's some other spots on the defensive line that looks kind of suspect. But, you know, um, you still got those players. You have Burflick last year, who they did lose this year. So, that linebacker spot is just it's not looking so good. Um yeah, the linebacking spot for the Cincinnati Bengals is not looking the best. Um, probably the <laughs> probably the weakest point of their team. You got Preston Brown, but I mean Nick Vigil, German Pratt. Pratt it's just not a good, not a good linebacking crew, and that's and that's gonna be tough. I mean, you got another year of Geno Atkins, who's getting older. Carlos Dunlap is getting older. Andrew, Andrew Billings has shown some has shown some things I like, but I mean my defensive line is getting older and can they stay healthy? You know the thing is, the big thing, I'm not one of these people who feel that a player, since a player is old doesn't mean that he's good. No, that's never been me. I just worry that he's got players that have gotten older, especially on D-line, how healthy can they be throughout a 16-game season? Are they going to be healthy for 14 out of 16 games? You know what I'm saying? Are they going to miss half the season? You know, but... Uh, I mean, that's pretty much for the... That's pretty much um, the front seven. I mean, the front seven is... I, I felt they could have, you know, try to get some more talent in the free agency, but... Just cut it. I would like to see like a Zach Brown signing. If the Cincinnati Bengals were the find a way how to get a player like Zach Brown from the Eagles, then you know I think that would have been pretty good. But they lost Burfleck and 
This linebacking corner is looking pretty shaky. And I'm going to be real. The defensive line, I mean, <sighs> big thing is health for that defensive line. Um, now to the secondary who played just garbage last year. Like, I don't get how how the secondary could be so bad last year. The last time I checked, I thought the, I thought the Cincinnati Bengals had a good secondary. But last year, it just like it was like every team was thrown on the Cincinnati Bengals. Like, everywhere. Um, Sean Williams, I see some. See, the thing is, I see some good potential from both of these safeties and Jesse Bates and Sean Williams. But I don't know what was the issue. Was it a defensive coordinator? Was, was it the schemes that y'all were running wasn't good? Um, y'all gonna have to tell me. Uh, <laughs> y'all gonna have to tell me about it because the thing is, man. I had the Cincinnati Bengals as one of my sleeper teams last year, man. And y'all just disappointed me, man. So I mean William Jackson. William Jackson is a really is a really solid corner. I like what I see from him. Drake Kirkpatrick is somebody that I think is solid. I know a lot of people when he came out the draft felt that he was gonna be a top ten cornerback. Of course, that's not what he is, but um you know, I mean, he, I guess he can still be a pretty decent starting cornerback. So, I mean, but that's pretty much on the, on the defense. And to be honest, the defense doesn't look better this year. And I mean, you lose you lose a Marvin Lewis, who, who I mean, he was a defensive coach. So, I mean, you have you lost Berth like. And you lost uh, Pac-Man Jones, <laughs> Pac-Man Jones. I did hey, Pac-Man Jones. That's all I really gotta say. But anyway, um, I'm not liking this defense. So I'm be honest with you. Um, when healthy, the, the defensive line has some potential, and that's probably the biggest strength on your team is your defensive line will fully healthy, but the thing is, can they stay fully healthy? Can Geno Atkins stay fully healthy? Can Carlos Dunlap stay fully healthy? We'll have to see, but this defensive line, in my opinion, look, I mean, not the defensive line, but the defense as a whole just looks worse. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I really got to say with the defense. This is going to be big on this offense. This is going to be an offensive, um, offensive team. And, and, you know, a big part of this is going, is going to have to be the Andy Dalton having a great year, running backs playing well, and AJ Green and Tyler Boyd and Tyler Eifert got to stay healthy. Now, the big thing is that I like the biggest addition I probably like that you guys had throughout the whole entire year was a drafted and Jonathan Williams. The offense alignment. I believe he plays guard. He was a guard. Or no, he was a tackle. My fault. A tackle. He was a tackle. And, you know, like I said, the offense line was really suspect last year. So, I I, I think that that was great that the, um, that the front office addressed that with um, getting Jonah Williams. But you wanted to have more than Jonah Williams um, to... Um, you know, protect Andy Dalton. So, um, that's pretty much all I really gotta say. Like I say in all my team previews, though, I'm not, I'm not doing records. So we're going by tiers. I'm not, I'm not giving out what I project the record to be. I'm going by tiers. And if you guys do remember from last, from the previous uh, team preview um, with the Cleveland Browns, I had them as a tier three team. So. Where I put the Cincinnati Bengals is, I'm not going to put them at the worst team because, like I said, they have talent when fully healthy, but I have to put them in tier four, man. Um, they're, they're below average team, below average team, in my opinion. Now, I will say, uh, if, Andy, if Andy Dalton gets going and Joe Mixon, Giovanni Bernard, they're running that ball, AJ Green is having a... Uh, career year, a career um, year, John Ross is getting going, he's running those deep routes, and um, Tyler Boyd, Tyler Boyd is getting open in that slot, 
Tyler Eifert is staying healthy and is playing some of the best ball that we've seen him play. Um, this is a scary team. But the thing is, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to see Andy Dalton have a great year when his offensive line is, <laughs> I mean, is... The offensive line is still kind of suspect. I know you guys got the Jonah Williams, but again, he's a rookie. And one offensive line cannot, one offensive line player cannot carry. It has to be a, a whole entire group unit. So I'm going to have to go tier four. Their defense looks really suspect. And it's a first year head coach. And I know a lot of people want to say Zach Taylor. What are you talking about? He's an offensive genius. He's coming from the Sean McVay system. And that's cool and all, but are we sure that that works? I know Sean, I know the Rams did um, had a really good offensive year, but, you know, that was the Rams. That was, that was the Rams. They had a whole different team. There's no Todd Gurley's on this team. And personally, the Rams had, like, the best offense, one of the best offensive lines last year. And the Bengals definitely don't have the best offensive line. And to be honest with you, that Sean McVay system didn't work in the Super Bowl. In the, in the NFC Championship game, I know the Rams won against the Saints, but their offense just didn't dominate. They didn't drop, they didn't just score 30 or 40 points. So... I'm not sure this Sean McVay system is the way to go, but um, that's the direction that they're heading to, so I mean, it is what it is, but I'm going to pick the Cincinnati Bengals in the tier four, um, and yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Now, if they did make the playoffs, I'll eat, I'll eat my words. Like I said last year, man, healthy Andy Dalton with AJ Green and them boys, and if I and, this, and if the offensive line is playing well, we seen what they could do. They started off four and two last year. They were my sleeper team last year. I know I didn't have a YouTube channel to show you guys this, but they were my one of my big sleeper teams last year. And I don't I don't think they're as good as they were last year going to the um, the season. So I'm going to say tier four. Tier four is what I'm gonna go with, but that's pretty much it, man. You know, um, got two more teams left in the AFC North: Ravens and Steelers. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I know Cincinnati Bengals fans. If there's any Cincinnati Bengals fans, I know y'all gonna eat me up, eat me up. But you know, I'm with it. You know, comment how you guys feel. I know you guys probably feel y'all a playoff team, and I, I want to hear y'all opinions. But, like I said, man, if you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some gaming content in the near future, give this video a like. And if you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. I'm the phenomenal one, and I'm out. Deuces.